So why have we, Rabbi Phyllis Berman and I, uh, Rabbi Arthur Wasco, decided to come to this uh, uh, summit of people who are committed to bring peace to Israel and Palestine both? Um, well, because we have been assailed uh, these last uh, several months by many voices that keep asserting that in this two-sided war, everybody must choose one side to support and one side to oppose. But we insist that this war has actually four sides. The Netanyahu regime, the Hamas regime, the people of Israel and the people of Palestine in Gaza and the West Bank. Each of these two regimes is authoritarian, racist in their contempt for the neighboring people and has no compunction about committing war crimes against civilians of the other people. The Hamas-related war crimes were mostly horrendously personal, by pistol, by fire, by rape. The Netanyahu-related war crimes were much more often what we call impersonal, by bombs and artillery shells. But when the targets were whole neighborhoods. When the victims were thousands of women and children, many of them crushed by the rubble of their own homes and dying in pain for days because no rescuers could reach them. Many of the rescue squads were dead. And others who were pierced not by gang rapes, as had been true in Israel, but by steel bars from the wreckage of their schools and their hospitals. Those suffering were still persons and the bombers were still persons, not so impersonal. We, Phyllis and I, and the gathering that we are coming to either in person or by um, Zoom. Zoom, we reserve our opposition for the two violence-addicted regimes, the two peoples we regard as our neighbors, as in love your neighbor as yourself. Where would that be from? And not only the general sense of all neighbors, but as co-descendants with us of Abraham, Abraham, our forebear, through Sarah, through Hagar, through Isaac, through Ishmael, our co-descendants, our cousins, as an addendum to this statement, both to those attending or supporting or endorsing this emergency summit calling for a ceasefire, and also to those who cannot do so. From the perspective of the four sides, Hamas leadership, Israeli government leadership, Palestinians living in Gaza and the West Bank, and Jews and Christian and Muslim Arabs living in Israel, 
Some people are stymied in calling for a ceasefire because of the bellicose statements made by Hamas leaders and or stymied in calling for a ceasefire because of the bellicose statements made by Israeli leaders and the awareness that there is no real ceasefire if it's not embraced by all. We endorse the emergency summit for the suffering sides, the good people of Gaza and the good people of Israel for whom a ceasefire can and must lead to an everyday life of dignity, justice, hope, food, water, medicine, electricity, hospitals, schools, work, safety, and a blessed peace for and with families and neighbors. Amen.